Today, we'll be discussing the top three premium economy class airlines in 2024. Let's get started with number three, Emirates. Emirates' premium economy looks like a significant upgrade from their regular economy class, but it also comes at a bigger price tag. So the question arises, is the value you get from Emirates premium economy truly worth the price tag? Let's take a look. Starting with the seats. The cabin configuration are 56 seats that are thoughtfully arranged in a comfortable 242 layout, ensuring a spacious and well-designed setting. The premium economy seats, available on some of Emirates A380 aircraft, offer a remarkable legroom pitch of 40 inches and a seat width of 19.5 inches, which is far above the industry standard. In stark contrast, standard economy seats typically provide a legroom pitch of 32 to 34 inches and a width of 17.5 inches. The ergonomic design of Emirates premium economy seats extends to an 8-inch recline, ensuring a restful experience during extended flights. And that's not all. A cushioned leg rests and adjustable headrests are also included allowing you to discover your ideal in-flight comfort. While Emirates' standard economy seats boast comfort with above-average ergonomic features and flexible side panels, Premium Economy elevates the in-flight even more experience. But the luxury doesn't stop there, we're just scratching the surface. For the meals and beverages, you can indulge in a culinary journey elevated to new heights where meals are presented on Royal Dalton China tableware with stainless steel cutlery elegantly wrapped in linen. Savor the exquisite flavors atop a polished wood grain dining table that seamlessly folds into your seat when not in use, a departure from the inconvenience of seat back tables shifting with every movement. The refined beverage menu features elevated classics such as Shandon sparkling wine, extra vintages from the Emirates business class list, and delightful additions like chocolates and liqueurs. For longer journeys, Emirates Premium Economy offers a secondary, typically lighter, meal featuring options like gourmet sandwiches. Breakfast choices include a classic omelette with sautéed mushrooms, roasted potatoes and spinach, complemented by fresh seasonal fruit and a selection of bread. Snacks range from vegetarian pizza to an assortment of fruits and snack bars, while dinner options include Thai pepper beef or grilled chicken and a coconut pudding for dessert. Specific dietary needs or allergies are not overlooked. Emirates allows passengers to request a special meal up to 24 hours before their flight using the Manage Your Booking feature on their website. Explore the Premium Economy Dining website for a sneak peek at the delectable culinary offerings awaiting you on your Emirates flight. Emirates doesn't guarantee business class meals for Premium Economy passengers, but you can anticipate superior catering featuring enhanced main meals, beverages and refreshments compared to economy. This upgraded service may even extend to a pre-takeoff glass of champagne. With a limited number of premium economy seats, passengers can also expect a higher level of service, as more crew members are allocated per passenger for a more attentive experience. Now let's take a look at the in-flight entertainment. You can elevate your in-flight experience to cinematic proportions with Emirates' award-winning entertainment system. Immerse yourself in a vast array of options on the 13.3-inch seatback screens in premium economy with over 4,500 channels of content, including movies, TV shows, music, games, and even language learning applications, all at your fingertips, sparing you the expense of multiple movie tickets. You even have the possibility to watch live TV, such as watching the latest Premier League matches live at your fingertips. And that's not all. You can preview the available content on Emirates' website before your flight, allowing you to plan your entertainment choices in advance. Aviation enthusiasts will appreciate the inclusion of tail-mounted cameras and the Voyager 3D Airshow, offering a unique perspective of your journey. Besides the entertainment options, you'll be able to find USB-A and USB-C ports conveniently located at the bottom left corner of the entertainment screen. There is also possibility to stay connected at 30,000 feet with the higher speed Wi-Fi service on the latest A380 aircraft, although it comes at a price of 3 to 10 US dollars, based on flight length and usage, which is very reasonable pricing compared to other airlines' Wi-Fi plans. In the premium economy section, you'll use the same bathrooms as regular economy, but they're a slightly fancier compared to other airlines. 
They're not as extravagant as the bathrooms in first class, but they're more spacious and have nicer things than usual airplane bathrooms. You can enjoy little luxuries like fancy scented soaps and lotions, giving you a peaceful moment even while you're flying high above the ocean in a busy airplane. Emirates Premium Economy aims to make your whole journey comfortable and enjoyable by paying attention to every small detail. Let's move on to the amenities. Beyond the noticeable in-flight entertainment, this class offers a range of thoughtful amenities, like a chance to get some relaxation with large pillows and soft blankets. Uniquely designed with premium economy passengers in mind, you'll find a reusable amenity kit at your disposal, ensuring you have the travel essentials throughout your flight. Inside, you'll find essentials like disposable socks, toothbrushes, earplugs, and even packs of stickers to indicate your meal preferences or sleep preferences. Stay connected and charged with dedicated charging ports, allowing you to power up your devices at your convenience. A distinctive advantage of Emirates Premium Economy lies in its strategic location towards the front of the aircraft. Even though it doesn't change how your flight feels, it can be really useful when you're getting off the plane. Getting off before the regular economy passengers can be very helpful if you need to catch another flight quickly, want to avoid waiting a long time in customs, or just want to get off the plane sooner after a long trip. These things make the overall travel experience better in premium economy, giving passengers who want a bit more from their trip a mix of comfort and usefulness. Of course, we also have to address the luggage upgrade. In standard economy, Emirates provides varying checked baggage allowances based on the region and fare class. But most flights allow one piece of luggage up to 50 pounds, while the Saver, Flex and Flex Plus options permit two pieces, each up to 50 pounds. In premium economy, you're in for a treat. The baggage policy mirrors the Saver, Flex and Flex Plus options of standard economy. You get the privilege of bringing along two pieces of checked luggage, with each piece weighing up to 50 pounds. It's a noticeable upgrade from the standard economy's single piece allowance, but there is something very unique about Emirates' policy for checked baggage. You can bring as many bags as you want as long as they don't exceed the weight limit of 100 pounds. So theoretically, you could check in 100 bags, each weighing one pounds, but we doubt you'll ever need that. Of course, premium economy sounds sweet, but how much is it gonna cost? The cost of Emirates premium economy tickets varies based on dates and routes, but we found several examples for flights from Dubai. For instance, routes like Sydney to Dubai are priced around $2,200 to $3,200 round trip, compared to $1,200 to $1,400 in economy class. As a general guideline, anticipate paying approximately double the cost of an economy ticket for Emirates premium economy. However, keep in mind that prices are subject to constant fluctuations, so you might come across better or worse deals. Emirates determines prices based on market dynamics, including supply and demand, among other factors. While fares may vary, the airline notes that its premium economy fares are approximately 65% less than business class fares. Besides that, opting for Emirates premium economy unlocks additional advantages including an enhanced mileage earning potential. As an illustration, an Emirates Skywards Blue member stands to earn 3,300 miles when flying premium economy from Dubai to London, a notable increase compared to the 3,000 miles earned in regular economy. This strategic placement and added mileage benefits further underscore the exclusive and rewarding nature of the Emirates premium economy offering. So that brings us to the final question. Is Emirates premium economy truly worth it? The true answer is, it depends. Of course you get a lot of positive upgrades, but with that also comes a price tag double that of booking economy class. To determine if it's truly worth it, you have to ask yourself the question, is everything that we mentioned before double the comfort that you get in economy? If your answer is yes, then it might be worth considering. Our opinion is that it definitely helps, especially on long haul flights. Let's move on to number two of the list, Singapore Airlines. According to the Skytrax Awards, Singapore Airlines was ranked as the world's second best premium economy class airline for 2023. Let's see what it's all about and if it's truly worth upgrading. Starting with the seats, Singapore Airlines premium economy is offered on their Airbus A350, A380 and Boeing 777 aircraft and on all of them the seats are configured in a 242 configuration. 
The design of the Singapore Airlines Premium Economy Seat reflects careful consideration for passenger comfort. It features a built-in calf rest and foot rest, allowing for an optimal sleeping position when reclined. Up to a generous 8 inches, along with a spacious 38-inch seat pitch and 19.5 seat width. This is quite a big upgrade from the economy class seats, where the seating pitch is 32 inches and the seat width about 17 to 19 inches. It might not seem like much difference, but in premium economy, every inch counts. And trust me, if you are wondering how it compares to standard economy, let's just say it's like upgrading from a regular chair to a real throne. The premium economy seats are crafted with a focus on ergonomics, providing exceptional lumbar support and adjustability for personalized comfort. And that's not all. Each seat is equipped with an impressive 13.3-inch in-flight entertainment screen, adjustable reading light, and adjustable headrest. In economy class, you won't have these upgrades. Passengers will get smaller screens and do not receive noise-canceling headphones. One of the greatest surprises of flying with Singapore Airlines is that Wi-Fi usage is completely free for all classes, which is very rare in the airline industry. Overall, the cabin is very comfortable. The lighting is designed to mimic the natural progression of a day, enhancing your sense of well-being throughout the flight. But enough about the seats, let's talk about the meal and beverages served on board. One of the main reasons this class is so successful is the enhanced food and beverage experience. It all starts with the pre-departure beverage choices you'll receive when flying Premium Economy. Once airborne, the culinary symphony continues. Premium Economy flyers can choose from a variety of non-alcoholic beverages, including soft drinks, fruit juices, coffee, and tea. For those seeking a bit more indulgence, there's a selection of alcoholic beverages ranging from wines and champagne to beer and various spirits. But here's the cherry on top. Premium economy passengers can even order specialty cocktails, such as the iconic and exclusive Singapore Sling. However, the standard economy isn't bad either. In Singapore Airlines economy class, passengers enjoy authentic Singaporean dishes, multi-course meals, premium touches like satay and chocolates, personalized service, on-demand dining, and an extensive beverage list. Yet, premium economy consistently outshines with its superior special options. Meals and sides are typically served on a single tray, wrapped in plastic and foil. While they may resemble economy meals at first glance, there's a touch of class. Meals come with metal cutlery and a reusable coffee cup. And here comes the best part. Singapore Airlines Premium Economy passengers can use the book The Cook Meal Pre-Order option. On most long-haul flights, Premium Economy passengers can choose from a broader menu than the three options available in flight. To utilize this, you usually need to make your meal selection at least 24 hours before your flight. But just a quick heads up, Book the Cook only affects your main dish. The side dishes remain the same as other premium economy passengers based on the meal time. For instance, if you order a dinner main during breakfast service, your meal will still be accompanied by fruit, yogurt, and a croissant. For those with food allergies or specific preferences, Singapore Airlines has you covered. You can check out your flight's menu up to eight days before departure, where you can savor chef-curated meals inspired by the world's flavors. But premium economy doesn't just exist out of an upgraded seat and meal. Let's look at the amenities and extras provided. Singapore Airlines premium economy travelers are treated to an amenity kit with socks, lip balm, and a dental kit are provided upon request. Passengers can also ask for sleep masks or earplugs. Passengers will find mouthwash, skin moisturizers, cologne and aftershave lotion in the lavatories, although these amenities are also offered to economy passengers on long-haul flights. A privilege not shared with the standard economy travelers is priority boarding. In standard economy, the boarding process may result in being among the last to board, especially for the massive A380 with a 471 passenger capacity. In premium economy, this isn't the case. You are also one of the first to disembark the plane. And here's a little extra icing on the cake. Upgrading to the premium economy means you're also earning more miles. And let's not forget the luggage allowance. Each premium economy passenger gets to check in a hefty 77 pounds of luggage at no extra cost. A great upgrade compared to the constraints of standard economy who can only check in 55 pounds. But the VIP treatment doesn't end there. A dedicated check-in line 
await Singapore Airlines Premium Economy passengers at Singapore Airport and select others, ensuring a smooth start to your journey. Unlike the hustle of standard economy check-ins, Premium Economy passengers have the same carry-on bag allowance as Economy passengers, one bag up to 15 pounds. We all know Singapore Airlines is known for its exceptional service quality, offering customers enhanced standards of service on the ground and new levels of comfort, cuisine, and entertainment in the air. The airline's staff and crew are trained to provide a personalized experience that goes beyond the ordinary. They are attentive, friendly, and courteous, and their service is designed to exceed your expectations. In standard economy, customer service from Singapore Airlines is highly rated as well, with the airline receiving praise for various aspects, including food, seat comfort, Wi-Fi, and more. But let's talk about the price. Premium Economy offers a significant upgrade in comfort, making sure you arrive at your destination more refreshed and ready to seize the day. Plus, it's a wallet-friendly alternative to business class, priced at about 65% the cost of a business class ticket. So, the burning question, how much extra does premium economy on Singapore Airlines cost? Brace yourself, as it typically falls in the range of 40 to 90% more than the price of economy. In some cases, you might find yourself paying double the price for that coveted premium economy experience, which makes it quite on the expensive side, especially when you compare it to other airlines. Actual prices can however vary widely due to various factors, so here comes the big question. Is Singapore Airlines Premium Economy truly worth it? By now, we have established that Singapore Airlines has one of the best Premium Economy class cabins out there. But we have also established that it tends to be more expensive compared to other Premium Economy class airlines. So, if your wallet is steering your travel decisions, the Economy class might seem like the logical choice. After all, in the end, it's still about reaching the destination, regardless of where you're seated. But comfort can be a bit of a problem in these economy seats, especially on those long haul flights, with minimal space and near zero recline, making it quite difficult to get quality sleep. So if you are someone that puts comfort as a priority and you do not have any strict budget constraints, the extra investment can be a game changer. Yes, standard economy gets you there, but the cramped quarters and sleep struggles can cast a shadow on your travel joy. Premium economy emerges as a hero offering a haven of comfort that's not only gentler on your wallet compared to business class. So, our opinion is that if you would like to fly business class, but you still have some budget constraints, premium economy is the smart option and a great middle ground. And finally, at the top of our list is EVA Air. This is the EVA Air Basic Economy class. And this is the EVA Air Premium Economy class. Now that's quite a difference, right? On December 12th, 1992, EVA Air introduced their premium economy cabin, making it the very first airline in the industry to ever offer this class of service. At the time, the premium economy was just an exclusive cabin located in the nose of the aircraft in front of economy class, with the seats arranged 222 across. But today, that story has changed. The airline has experienced numerous amenities and upgrades over the years. Three decades after its first premium economy flight, EVA Air is still considered one of the best in the industry. Skytrax has also rated the airline with five stars and also ranked them as the world's best premium economy class airline for 2023. Let's see why. Starting with the seating arrangement, EVA Air Premium Economy has seven rows of seating in a 242 seating configuration, giving you a more spacious and comfortable flight experience compared to the 343 arrangement in the economy class cabin, which might feel a bit cramped, especially along the aisle. The seats on the EVA Air Premium Economy are remarkably large, comfortable and well padded, complemented with leather headrests. The seats measure 19.3 inches in width and 38 inch in seating pitch. This means that EVA Air Premium Economy gives you an extra seven inches of leg room compared to the economy class cabin which makes a big difference. Additionally, there is a luxurious leg rest that folds out from the seat and can be easily adjusted to your height. It makes sleeping much more convenient and comfortable in combination with the seat recline. Before flatbeds were introduced, this was the type of seating arrangement you would experience in a business class. Essentially, you are getting old-fashioned business class seats for the price of premium economy. The chairs lean back quite a bit and can give you a good sleeping environment. 
especially if you usually struggle to sleep in regular economy seats. Now let's talk about amenities. Waiting for you at your seat are slippers, noise-canceling headphones, a water bottle, a medium-sized pillow, and a cozy blanket to help you through the long-haul flight. After settling down, a flight attendant will then approach you to hand over what they call an overnight kit from the brand Furla. The amenity kit is filled with items like moisturizing cream and lip balm for the dry air on the plane, a comb, earplugs, a sleep mask, and long socks to keep your feet warm. Although the overnight kits are restricted to long haul flights only, getting access to full size amenity kits just like you are provided in a business class is impressive. In other words, this upgrade gives you a taste of business class luxury for a cheaper price. Like most premium economy packages, there's not much storage to speak of besides the seat back pocket, where you can put little things like a wallet, passport and phone. However, if you need to store heavy luggage, you'll have to use the overhead compartments. The storage bins above the seats are usually shared by only two people, allowing passengers seating in the aisle to easily stretch out their legs without bumping into anyone's luggage, a luxury you can't experience in standard economy. These subtle upgrades are factors that make your journey a bit more stress-free. And let's not forget the ambience. Even though the premium economy doesn't offer much like the business class, you get a simple yet stylish laid out cabin and a peek at the starry ceiling in the business class cabin. Again, you're getting a small taste of the business class experience. Now let's talk about the airline's food services for an airline that earned the world's best premium economy in-flight catering from Skytrax in 2023, we are expecting quite something. Meal services in Eva Air's premium economy are just a bit elevated when compared to standard economy. Some customers even argue on review platforms that the food on the airline's standard economy and premium economy are the same. However, it appears those claims may not be true entirely. For example, the appetizer you get in the premium economy class is notably larger compared to the economy class. Your food is also served in fancy dishes, and you get actual silverware. On the other hand, the fruit platter you get on both economy class and premium economy appear to be the same. While some of the meals are the same as the economy class, it's important to note that the taste and quality are a step higher. Eva Air offers a wide choice of pre-booked meals in both economy and premium economy. Whether you are vegetarian or non-vegetarian, there are enough meals to suit your preferences. The service offers two meals, complemented with a snack. Just a few minutes after takeoff, flight attendants would distribute menus. However, for special meals, that is, meals served before the standard meal, you'll need to place an order two to three days before your flight. Also, if you have special dietary requirements or don't eat certain foods due to medical or religious concerns, the special meals option provides you with a wide range of meals you can choose from. Premium economy passengers can try out Western and Eastern choices, similar to those offered in business class. On the menu, the meal is divided into five courses with just one slot for appetizers. Direct flights from Taipei to the US, Canada, Europe and Australia enjoy the exclusive gourmet meal. The set of meals are designed by celebrity chefs for your culinary delight and in-flight satisfaction. In between meals, the menu has the so-called leisure delight course with barbecue chicken brioche roll or a pepper beef and cheese croissant, depending on your destination. Beyond the meals, Eva Air also offers some interesting little touches, like the eco-friendly bamboo napkin, tooth flosser, and prepackaged antibacterial towels. But there's more to enjoy after the meals. Eva Air Premium Economy's drinking selection is amazing, though it's somehow limited. The beverage service includes wine, beer, and spirits for alcohol lovers. If you don't take alcohol, there are soft drinks you can go for, including tea, coffee, and water. The major difference is that premium economy passengers are served ahead of the economy class. However, unlike the business class where each course is served separately and accompanied by the most adorable miniature salt and pepper shakers, everything is served at the same time in premium economy. Eva Air Premium Economy's in-flight entertainment system is also great. The system boasts an 11-inch LCD high-definition touchscreen and a generous choice of movies in multiple languages which can be helpful for passengers who may not be proficient in the English language. The touchscreen is also sensitive and easy to navigate, 
You can easily drag your fingers across the screen instead of using the wired controller, which could be a bit more difficult to navigate. Aside from the modern entertainment system and responsive user interface, you have access to a full entertainment library just like the business class. This is another feature that you won't get in the economy class where only partial access to the library is granted. The system is well structured, with the latest releases, award-winning movies, family-friendly choices, as well as regional favorites, to keep you entertained. As you settle in for entertainment, you will notice charging ports, conveniently located under the armrests between the seats. At first glance, you'll see three headphone jacks and a USB port. When you look down a little bit, you'll discover a standard charging outlet situated at the bottom. Once you are settled, the next thing you'll probably need is Wi-Fi to stay connected. Eva Air offers a Wi-Fi service priced by usage. You get 100 megabytes worth of data for 15 US dollars or 300 megabytes worth of data for about $30. This is one of the few bad things about Eva Air's premium economy offers in our opinion. The prices of data packages are simply outrageous. When flying with Emirates, for example, Wi-Fi is available starting at three bucks and goes up to a maximum of 20 bucks for unlimited access. This shows that it's an area that Eva Air may need to improve upon. But on a positive note, let's talk about the service. The flight attendants are friendly, efficient, and very polite. When serving meals, the flight attendants will first ask you about your food preferences. Later, they circle back to inquire if you'd like coffee or tea. The flight attendants are kind, accommodating, and wouldn't disturb if it's unnecessarily. If you appreciate having personal space during a flight, Eva Air's premium economy class is worth considering. After we've discussed the service, food and amenities Eva Air Premium Economy offers, it's high time we discuss the most important factor, the price. Obviously, the prices of this service vary from cabin and route. And with the extra level of comfort Premium Economy offers, you should expect to be charged about twice the price of an economy ticket. In most cases, Premium Economy fare is around $600 to $800 higher than the basic economy fare. For example, a round trip from Taiwan to San Francisco ranges from approximately $2,500 to $2,700. Economy tickets for the same route usually cost between $1,100 to $1,800. However, the actual prices may vary. Therefore, it's probably a smart idea to book as soon as you can, since many factors contribute to the variation in fares. So here comes the big question. Is the EVA Air Premium economy worth it? While their premium economy seats come at a notably higher price, nearly double that of the economy class, you also get to experience twice the comfort of an economy ticket, and sometimes even business class levels of service at a premium economy price. However, it's best to not keep your expectations too high. While EVA Air Premium Economy may offer a number of business class services, keep in mind that you won't be lying down like the passengers in the business class or get your courses served differently. Overall, the question about whether EVA Air's premium economy is worth it or not depends on the value you place on comfort. EVA Air premium economy strikes a balance between the economy class and the business class. Our opinion is that if a business class ticket is out of your price range, premium economy on EVA will get you great service, a comfortable seat, good food, entertainment, and amenities for a much more pleasant flight experience. It's definitely worth considering. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. Until next time.